Hey guys, I have my food shopping haul for you today. I'm back on sync with my food shopping on a Thursday, Friday, it's Friday, so I'm getting this recorded and up and out as fast as I can. Um, with Christmas, I was completely out of sync with food shopping and I was going on Sundays and Tuesdays, but I'm back, I'm back into my routine now. So let me go through the meal plan for next week. So Monday, I have stuffed shells. I already have the stuffed shells in the cupboard. I got them from Morrison's quite a while ago. Tuesday, stir fry. Wednesday, chicken curry. Thursday, sausages. Friday, sweet and sour chicken. Not Cameron's favorite, but everyone else loves it. And then Saturday, I'm going to be in London doing hair, so the boys will just have pizza. And then Sunday will be our typical Sunday roast. So let me spin you around and show you how much I spent and what I got. So we spent £84.36p for non-food items. The first thing I got were cotton pads. I use these to take my makeup off in the evening with like micellar water before I cleanse my skin. Other non-food items, toilet tissue. Then I got some ironing water. We like to get ironing water for our iron because it, it sort of prolongs the life of the iron. You know, the, the water in the iron goes all scaly and stuff like that with lime scale. This is really good and it makes the clothes really fresh when you iron. Not that I iron, Danny does, but yeah, he loves to use that. Some bleach, fabric softener, these toilet things that you put in the toilet to keep the toilet fresh. Moving on to fruits and veg, two bags of potatoes, some mushrooms, two vegetable stir fries. I can actually um, stick these in the freezer. They'll be fresher for when I need them. I've done that before and they last super well. Sweet mini peppers, onions, two bags of apples, mixed peppers, two things of grapes and some bananas. Moving over to meats, I got a chicken for our Sunday roast, some mints, salami, sausages, I got a gammon, I'm going to stick that in the freezer, as well as some chorizo. This is really nice in omelettes as well as jambalaya, so I'll stick that in the fridge. It's got a long life date on that. Then some mixers, three of them, they're like pepperamis. Then I did get a big tower of pizzas, and that's because we've got Laura and Paul coming around um, tomorrow night for drinks and playing cards, and we quite often will have like a pizza night. Um, so there's loads of pizza over there that I'll cook up and then we can just snack on. I also picked up these for the same reason. There was three of them. They're left over from Christmas, so they were 99p each. So that will be nice. Cheese ricotta, that will be for the stuffed shells. Camber, then uh, Norpak, just butter, marge type thing. Milk, yogurts, two things of spaghetti, some tomato puree orange juice or I call it squash, gravy, a beef and a chicken, cereal bars, crumpets, Ollie loves a crumpet so he picks them up, coffee, sweet corn, ketchup, cola for Danny and then cider vinegar, oil and three loaves of bread. So that is what I got at Aldi's. So here's a look at the Special Buys magazine. This one is dated the 24th of January. Oh, look at those New Year's resolutions. <laughs> That's not one for me. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna show Danny that later. See what he thinks. Danny does do really well with his fitness. He goes boxing once a week. He goes football once a week. He has weights and stuff in his man cave. And there's me that's like a proper couch potato. Oh my goodness, what machine is that? I'm pretty much just getting tired looking at them. Danny has these things as well. And I don't even know what they are. some recipes oh that looks good cottage pie
and then they're amazing. Meat offers and they're super six. Fruit and veg. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.